Hey everybody, this is Tony Ashbrook with Intex Painting Solutions LLC. Today I was just going to show you a little bit on how I paint when I have a decent amount of square foot, square feet, not a lot, but a decent amount and enough where I know that I need to move fast. And I got a lot of, a lot of this same color I got to paint. And so basically this is how I do. I'm in Cincinnati, about a mile and a half from downtown. I can't even stand up. I hit my head. There's a loft. Down there it overlooks. Pretty high ceilings. Got a brick wall right there, big windows. We're right up here in the loft right now. And basically, I just want to show you how I do it. When I'm by myself, um, I pull out all the guns. We got the 18, we got the 9, we got the 4.5. Um, you see my 18 tray. I notched out the back corner that way I can set my 18 in it and put the lid back on. Um, the very thing you should be careful is you don't let your rollers and your brushes and everything get real hard. So basically, get everything ready. See, I got a lid right here. There's a screen, there's already paint in there. I don't want to do that yet because I don't know if I'm gonna, when I'm going to use it. But you know, get everything ready. So that'd be keep my little and my big in there. We call this one the little and we call this the big. And then we just call that 18. That's how we can talk easy. With me, my brother, he's my, my painter, he helps me. So the big and the little go for right there. Drop the screw in there. Put them in on. And right here, this is just an empty bucket right now. But after I get these wet and saturated, once I use them, then I don't like, you know, you don't want to put your rollers, submerge them in paint. That's not good. So I just get them pretty wet, and then I'll, I'll put them in this empty bucket, and I'll put a lid on that. That way we got this paint staying good, this paint staying good. We got the tray right here for the 18, which will be in usually the majority of the 18 up here. You know, little stuff like this posts, you know, it's, you could use the 18, you could use the 9. But, I mean, it's better just to use what you need. I like having a full arsenal. Right here. Uh, I just started using this brush. You know, I think this is my second time using it. It's a, a Wooster semi-oval. It's kind of got that concave like a football. I kind of like it. It holds paint. It's, got, it's pretty stiff on the bottom, but real soft on the top. So, uh, I'm going to give it another shot. Kind of just got like a little lid. And, this is a wet rag right here, you know, for my little handy paint hand with a liner. And then right here is just um, the bottom of the bucket I cut off. And I just got some damp rags. And then I got, you know, a bunch of dry rags. So um, basically that's, that's how I like to set up when I'm going by myself. Just literally have everything in my arsenal possible that um, even if there is that one wall where it'd be nice to have an 18 and I have a 9 I don't have to you know suffer through that wall and take the extra 10-15 minutes because those 10-15 minutes add up you know you waste 15 minutes four times and there's an hour and it, it time goes fast especially when you're doing rental properties like this um, you ain't got time to mess around you got people's coming behind you cleaning you got people behind you coming doing floors um, you got property managers up your butt so it's very important that you, you stick to your time frame. And you said this is a semi-gloss white. It's going flat on the walls. Uh, Sherman William paint. Um, you know, so we don't know how the other painters did before us. Um, I mean, it's kind of not too bad, you know, kind of sloppy on the cut. Baseboard don't look too bad. Um, one thing you want to do, you know, before you paint, even though I'm painting walls and not baseboards, is you want to go through and, uh, Give the baseboards a nice little a nice little clean if it's really really bad you know right there's borderlines looks some sort of stain looks sticky disgusting or maybe it looks like i don't know dog piss or something um this ain't really too bad it's just kind of dusty um it's really up to you if you want to use like a wet rag or a spray or whatever i kind of mix it up maybe use a warm a warm rag with water um, for this right here, it's not too bad. It's real dusty because you don't want to dust it off. It's too dusty because you get dust in the air and dust every, everywhere. Um, I'm going to use what, what I have uh, 
my little broom. We make these out of our old brushes. Um, the other one is a uh, green, it's a little broom one. So this is a LB 2.0. It's our little broom. Our little yellow firm, put tape around it so it's nice and tight. And uh, it's kind of like our little inside joke at work. It's a LB, we kind of look at it like a mascot. Kind of like our, uh, like a little worker or a little brother. We say, where's the LB? Is the LB okay? So I got the firm, so. You know, just come right here, so you know, just in case, which you probably will, bump the baseboard or something. You just don't have all the nasty stuff, you know. And I will take a wet rag that, because that stain is pretty nasty. Not big, but you always want to do your best. You follow it up with a dry rag. I'm a little bit different when I paint my uh, my rental properties. I paint apartments, uh, lofts, uh, historical buildings that have been converted uh, from like, uh, say an antique, it was an old uh, sewing machine factory and they converted it into a, a building with lofts or something like that. I do a lot of historical buildings and stuff and um, you know, a lot of these apartment painters, you know, the rule of thumb is that, you know, if it's good, don't paint it and if it's the same color, you know, you ain't gotta cut in. Well, I, I like to do, I like to do the best I can. And it just bugs the death crap out of me. Bugs me to death. Um, you know, I, I feel like if I don't, if I don't paint, you know, every square inch, I feel like, I just don't feel right. I feel like I'm cheating them or, I don't know, it's just something, it's just something inside me that, uh, I just believe that, you know, if I'm getting uh, paid to paint it, I, I wanna paint it right, I wanna paint it good. So I really tried to do a good job. And then also that way, you know, for one, you can hold your head high because you did a great paint job. Um, you know, I look at these like a house. If I'm doing a six, $7,000 job on a house, um, to me, there's no difference. You can hold your head high. And also it's not really not that hard to uh, crush out the competition, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't cut, and they don't cut in and uh, it looks sloppy and uh, you know I don't know I'm not saying nothing bad about nobody I'm just stating facts that you know when I come into a, a unit and uh, don't look too great um, I just don't want to leave my finished product looking the same way LB 2.0 is crushing out these baseboards You know, you just want to be really careful though when you, uh, you know, when you start getting wrapped up in all this kind of stuff. Um, like I said, it's time, you know, so you got to look at your time. You got to see what works for you because, you know, maybe you might have to suffer through that 15, 20 minutes with that nine inch when you really need an 18, but you know, how fast can you get all this set up? If this takes you half hour to set up and you don't even use half the stuff, it, it might not be worth it for you. Um, but you know, don't, don't give up on it after your first try if it don't work out because um, you know give it a couple tries see if you can't get a rhythm see if uh see if it don't work out for me I love it because uh it's just it's kind of like a mental thing too um I don't have to be sitting here wondering well, what about when I get there what about this what about that I mean I got everything um I can do whatever I want you know I got the the Wooster four foot to eight foot extender the Wooster two to four foot extender another two foot to four foot extender um, you know, I got some big sticks downstairs, uh, so I mean, I'm pretty happy. Got me a couple lights. Lighting is very, very important. Um, I tape a lot, but this is not really a call for tape, just because it's pretty easy, simple cut in. Like I said, I can't even stand up. I'm on my knees right now, so you know, just cut there, cut there. You know, if I if I get some, I wipe it with a wet rag. You know, if it's bad, uh, quick do a little stain or I sand it the the top of the baseboard before I paint the baseboards at the end. Um, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video. Uh, tune in to part two to uh, see how fast I can cut this. Cut this in and, and paint this. I'll see you guys, thanks.